You blew through your allotment quickly. Because my expenses added up quickly. Would you care to reveal those expenses? <sighs> Apart from my usual, I hosted a benefit for the hungry. The press called that a party at Patrice's, where you and your friends broke two chandeliers, damages totaling $35,000. It got a little out of hand. At a five-star restaurant? And I suspect that your friends were the hungry who benefited. We've been appointed to make sure your money lasts. Which it won't, if we allow you to keep wasting it. Food and clothes, those are necessities. $300 on a scarf, $2,500 on a handbag. Uncle Lyle, don't you think that Mummy and Daddy would want me to be happy? Yes, of course. Then how can I be happy if I'm broke? Happiness doesn't depend on how much you spend. Look, the party... I thought you called it a benefit. <sighs> was a mistake, but it's in the past. It was two weeks ago. I promise from now on, I will be so much better. Okay, to Uncle Lyle. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ew. Why do you keep inviting her? Oh, seriously, she's such a drag. And what is she wearing? <laughs> yeah, look, we grew up together, and she just keeps following me around. But just shh. Catherine, hi! <laughs> You came! I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is my favorite socialite? Fabulous. We are celebrating. Oh, again! <laughs> Honey, we need to take you shopping. Oh, no, I have my own clothes, thanks. <laughs> if that's what you call those. It will be my treat. What, did you get more money again? <laughs> oh, I got you a present. Isabel. Ah, just open it. <gasps> wow! Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah. Isabel, did you spend twelve hundred dollars on this? That is too much. Stop it! Just put it on. I mean, why do you look so tired? Uh, I had the craziest day at work. There's this guy, and he, he keeps calling me. <gasps> Clay. Isabel, we're celebrating. Absolute rubbish. Mm. Hi, Uncle Lyle. Mm-hmm, the benefit tomorrow, I remember. Mm-hmm, for the children's hospital, right? Yep, I will be there, you can count on me. All right, mm-hmm. Ugh. Chloe, I need a getaway. <gasps> oh, when? Right away. I'm so bored. Oh, I wish I could. I'm having some little um, alterations done. Hey! I totally wish I could, Isabel. My dad's getting married. Again? Number five. <sighs> well, that was quick. I promised him I'd come to the wedding this time. He says when I'm there for it, the marriage lasts twice as long. Hey, Isabel, I can't talk right now. I'm at work. Not for long. What? I'm going on a fabulous getaway. Okay. Come with me. I can't. Maybe you didn't hear me. I'm working. <sighs> Come on, that bug company can do without you for a couple of days. Are you purposefully ignoring me? Come on, we'll go someplace that you want to go, like, um... Hmm. Wow, I can tell you've given this so much thought. Skiing. You love skiing. We'll go to Sweden. No, Switzerland. They've got good skiing there, right? Well, yeah, but... Okay. Pack your bags. We'll leave tomorrow. My treat. Isabel, things are really busy right now. I can't just leave. Can you ask... Can you ask one of your other friends? No. I already tried that. Of course you did. Well, go by yourself. I can't. Besides, I need somebody to entertain me. Isabel. Fine. You owe me. Fine.
perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Hey, are we going to check in soon? <laughs> Hello. Let's go inside. OK. Hey, um, I'm starving. Do you think they have a burger here? Mm-hmm. Isabel? I just don't understand. How could the presidential suite just not be available? Oh, I know. And it's not like this room is really pretty. You didn't even have a reservation. Now you sound just like that angry little man downstairs. I'm sorry. Do you want to go swimming? I think I'm going to go. <sighs> I'll meet you there. <sighs> hey, are you going out? Hi, um, yeah, we're just gonna go to dinner. Oh, well, I'm hungry. And cold, too. Didn't you bring anything warm, sweetheart? <laughs> um... I mean, I guess you could come with us. Gee, thanks, but I think I'll just get room service. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, wait, don't, um, don't stay out too late, because we have skiing in the morning. Ooh, I hope they have a hot tub. Isabel, are you up? You ready? <laughs> of course you're still asleep. Isabel. Wakey, wakey. Wake up, Isabel. Wake up. Isabel, your credit card got declined. What? Come on, we're already going real slow. You know, the snow will still be here if we go later. Oh my gosh, it was quite a drive out here if you didn't notice from the taxi fare. And besides, ugh, as much fun as it was sitting around waiting for you to wake up, I'd rather not waste the time. Well, can you just wait? Yeah. I think, I think my skis are broken. He gave me broken skis. No, your skis are fine. <laughs> This isn't even skiing. Yes, it is. It's cross-country skiing. It totally counts. But you're not even that good at it. But I like it. Besides, it's really great exercise. Yeah, but I pictured slopes and harmless flourishing as we wait for the ski lift and drinking hot beverages and sitting in the hot tub. Not this. You don't really ski, do you? I do, too. I know how. Thank you. You say you go skiing all the time. No, I say I go to ski resorts all the time. It's very different. OK, well, listen, it's actually really fun. You just have to give it a chance. I'm sure. Makeup? Really? Look, always look your best. It is the one rule I live by. Just you do your thing, and I will do mine, all right? OK. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 you are stupid. I am having you shipped back to America as soon as we get back and I get something hot to drink. Ow! <laughs> oh, this is it. I've had enough. Yeah, well, you promised me skiing, so... On slope. Well, you never specified that. And besides, this is what I wanted to do. It's all about what you want, isn't it? You are so spoiled. Yeah, I get that all the time from you of all people. You know what? You're making me regret ever inviting you along. More like guilt tripping me into coming. <laughs> Whatever, you get to freeload on a dream vacation. Boo hoo. First of all, I am not one of your groupies or freeloading friends. Well, I'm paying for this and I say... No, no, I am tired of you holding the money over my head. I don't do that. Yes, you do. It was your uncle's idea to help my mom when she was sick and that was so great. But you, anytime you can, you like to take credit for it. 
<laughs> You're being ridiculous. No, what is ridiculous is you using that to get me to do whatever you want, like come on this stupid trip. I don't even understand what you're complaining about. I mean, you should feel lucky to even have me around. You are so full of yourself. You actually think that the whole world revolves around you. <laughs> Apparently not the whole world. You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead. You can catch a cab back to the hotel, okay, princess? Fine, be that way. Fine. You know what, when you're done with your whole cross country thing, you may as well pack your bags and go back to your stupid bug job because I'm uninviting you, Missy. Oh, well, see you at home. Don't hold your breath. Now that you're gone, I may extend my vacation and actually have some fun. Well, that is what you do best, Isabel. Did she go to the fundraiser? I got word that she used the company plane to go to Switzerland. You have the authority to cut her off. There's the clause in the trust that gives you the option to hold back what she's to receive when she turns 30. I can't hurt her. Of course not. But you can do what's best for her, even if she doesn't like it. I appreciate your guidance. Well, good. That should clear up the issue. But I am tired of these surprises that keep coming at the end of the quarter. So let's get it right. Did you talk to Lyle? Yes. How did he react? Not the way I did. She has him wrapped around her finger. You know, I know he loves her. I understand that. But there's a line, and she crossed it years ago. Well, give it two weeks. She'll be in hot water again. Maybe he'll listen then. Hey. You awake yet? Hello? Get away from me! You're in my house. Back away. I live here. Are you dangerous? If I said no, are you gonna believe me? No. Oh, my head hurts. It's because you hit it. You attacked me? No, but I could have. You broke into my home. Uh, I knocked. And then you broke in. The door was open. That doesn't make it an invitation. Listen to me. I need some food and something to drink. And some painkillers would be nice. I'm not your waiter. I know, but you'll have to do. That's it. Get out. I can't. I'm hurt. Well, they didn't stop you from getting here. I got lost. Not my problem. I'm making it your problem. Now get me some food. Get up.
All right, rested, fed, now go on your way. My ankle hurts, and it hurts when I breathe. Well, sadly, not enough to keep you from talking. It hurts when I breathe. Call an ambulance. Uh, no. Fine, a cab, whatever. There's no phone here. No internet either. <sighs> All right, then you'll just have to drive me to the hospital. Where's your car? I walked. From where? If I knew that, I would have gone there and not come here. Just get your keys. I don't have a car. <sighs> Look. I'm rich, all right? So whatever it takes, just get me back to civilization. There is no car here. Why? I don't need one. So you're just isolated up here? I was until you got here. Wait, there's really no phone, car, a snowmobile? Nope. Then how am I supposed to get back to my hotel? There is nothing within 25 miles of here. No bus stops either. The only way down is to walk. That doesn't make any sense. How do you live? I mean, there must be a way down. I have someone who brings me what I need once a month. Great, and when do they come next? Two and a half weeks. The only way down in the meantime is on foot. Fine, then this will just have to do. Whoa, no, no, this will not do. You can't expect me to walk anywhere like this. I don't expect anything except for you to leave. <laughs> well, I'm in no condition to do that, so that's out of the question. Sure you are. Just stand up, hop over there, until you're on the other side of the door. I'm not limping my way back to civilization, thank you. I don't care where you go, but you're not going to stay here. You wouldn't just throw me out in the cold because I'm tired, cold, I need a bath. Which one's my room? Don't you have anything else? You mean women's clothes? Uh, yeah. Not in my closet. You want me to take a look at that ankle? Are you a doctor? Sit down. What is that thing? Don't touch it. these? They're mine. Leave it alone. What's your name? Jeremy. I'm Isabel Elliot, in case you were wondering. All right, this is probably gonna hurt. It does! Yeah. Sprained. Oh, really? Bad enough that there's gonna be some bruising. You have to <sighs> ice it and stay off it for the next few days. It hurts. It's normal. Hang on. Where are you going? To get a bandage. I'm gonna wrap it, but loose enough you can still have some movement. Easy! I thought you just said I was not meant to move it. Well, you want some give for motion. It's gonna hurt a little bit more, but heal with less complications that way. You don't want it to heal too tight, or it's gonna hurt more when you walk around on it later. What's wrong with your side? I hit it. Where? Ribs? I don't know. Well, you said it hurt earlier when you were breathing. Yeah. Where? Just there. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. You've probably got a cracked or bruised rib. There's nothing you can do about it. Just take it easy and let it heal. How do you know that anyway? I just do. What's with all this flannel anyway? Is this mountain man thing your permanent look? My clothes are none of your business. You should really have some standards. 
And you're welcome. Well, oh, hope that's better than chili. Weird. Cleans up nice if he wants to. <laughs> you are. Dr. Jeremy Andrew Enderman. Mind. Some of us are actually trying to sleep. Would you rather freeze? So much for good manners. I'm a guest, remember? Guests are expected. Just... What are you doing? Relaxing. It feels so good in here. Do you ask before doing anything? <sighs> get out. Why? It's not like there's anything else to do. I said get out. <sighs> Fine. Really? What? It's not like I had time to pack a swimming suit. Just make yourself at home. Come in, Henry. What are you doing? You should have met my sister. Oh, she's beautiful. She was quite a bit younger than me. Adorable. Until she turned five, and then she was a little firecracker. <laughs> 
Is that where Isabel gets it from? Maybe. Laura was fierce in standing up for people. And animals, too. I can't count how many strays she brought home. I suppose that's how my parents felt about her husband. Just another stray, not good enough for her. So they thought. You disagreed? Oh, I stayed out of it. I could have been supportive. I had little interest in marriage or family of my own, and then they died, and there I was with little Isabel to watch over. Hmm. What was she like as a child? Precocious, always thinking. She'd smile sweetly to win you over, and that was it. <laughs> Not much has changed then. Oh, I wasn't well suited for the role. She, I doted on her. How could I not? What are you doing? Building a birdhouse. What are you, 14? It's a hobby. What are you doing out here anyway? What do you mean? Well, you're obviously not from here. What gave me away? <laughs> And what's with the no phone, no internet, no anything? It's a bit boring, don't you think? It's quiet. I like it that way. It's too quiet. So what about you? I'm a city girl. In fact, if you had any contact with the outside world, you may even recognize me. Let me guess. An actress. A celebrity of sorts. <sighs> Great. I'm rich. Congratulations. I've always been rich. It suits me. You know, you still didn't answer my question. That's right. Fine. Here's your plate. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Meatloaf. Let me guess. Vegetarian. No, but I've got taste buds. That is horrible. I don't know how you could eat that. Did your parents forget to teach you any manners after they gave you the golden pony? Yes, because they died. <sighs> All right, that's it. Ground rules. You're going to stay here. You're going to follow them. Got it? Oh, no. Am I in trouble? You're in charge of lunch. You want anything else to eat, you eat what I'm making or you fend for yourself. Next, try to be helpful. Whining all day doesn't count. Just, just try not to be so difficult. I'm not. All right. Wake up, princess. You are the epitome of rudeness. You're the most self-centered person I've ever known. You've been here for almost two days and you've done nothing but whine and complain. I don't think a thank you has ever once crossed your mind. Right, I am completely bored. Oh, sorry. What do you want? Well, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I'm bored and I'm going crazy. Do you have anything to do? Do you play chess? <sighs> you know it's your turn, right? I know. Oh, you'll be happy to know I decided to forgive you for earlier. Really? What? Wait, whoa! Okay, we'll just play. Please, just... Please. So, do you play chess very often? It's a two-person game. Right. I just thought you might be one of those genius types, you know, that plays against themselves, no? Not that sp
smart. Good point. Check. <laughs> Why don't you just sacrifice your queen? I would never do that. Why not? Too important. Check. You understand you're losing because of it, right? I told you, I'm not that smart. This is true. Checkmate. We could play a simpler game. You could go hide and I could count to ten. What are you making? Macaroni and cheese. You really aim to impress, don't you? Fine. How about some dessert, mountain man? Good. Oh! What? What'd you put on here? Just some paprika. I've seen it used before, it adds flavor. This? Yes. Cayenne pepper. No, it's not. Oh! Well, I didn't know. I. You know, I'm a guy, right? I mean, you think I'm gonna have paprika just lying around? Great. It's really not that bad. Oh, okay, well, I made a cake too. Really? Mm-hmm. Great. Prepare to be impressed. It's good. It's good. Really? Good. Oh, my God. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. You swallowed that. I didn't want to be rude. I followed the recipe. I don't understand. Are you sure? I know how to read a recipe. How much salt did you put in? Just a bit. And this? Sugar. A cup and a half, I think. This is salt. That's the sugar. I grabbed... The wrong one. See, this is exactly why I don't cook. Ever? No, never! Great! Now I ruined your shirt. Not that it's a great loss. It'll wash out. Do you have another shirt that I can borrow, please? Yeah. Here. What is it? You said you didn't have any of this stuff. I said I didn't have any in my closet. Cheeky! Whose is it? My ex-wife's. I'd rather her stuff get dirty than mine. Thank you. You've been icing that ankle? By the way, thank you so much for the clothes. It feels so good to be in woman's clothes again. Besides, the paparazzi may show up at any moment and I would love to be ready. I'm practically famous. So, um, how long have you been divorced? Three years. And are you okay with it? 
So is that why you moved up here? Yeah, this is our getaway. After the divorce, I made it permanent. So lonely, though. So? Don't you miss home or being around people? That's what I wanted. I needed. I don't know if this dress works. Is it too blah? It depends on your shoes. Oh, hi, Catherine. Hey, guys. Um, how's it going? Where's Isabel? I don't know. She was going out of town. Well, I know. I just, I thought that maybe she would be, you know what, never mind. <laughs> Some hot but completely poor guy probably caught her attention. She's so gullible. She doesn't even realize Clay only went out with her for her money. Okay, well, if you could just let me know when you see her, that would be great. Um, there's some hot water on the stove if you want some. Do I know Oh, just now. Uh, all right? Yeah. Do you make all these bird houses? Yeah. Do the birds actually use them? Oh, free food helps. There's so many little details. It's an interesting hobby. I had a lot of time on my hands when I first moved here. And what did you do with them all? I have a guy in town who sells them for me. Ugh, you really need to lose the flannel. It keeps me warm. So do layers. My clothes, my choice. All right. Do you have any painkillers? Yeah. Ankle acting up or is it the ribs? A little of both. How bad is it? It's better than before. Do you mind if I take a look? Mm-hmm. Uh. Did you rewrap this? Yeah. It's too tight. The uh, swelling's gone down, so it's good. Have you had many sprained ankles? No. You sure sound like you have. I, um, I have a medical background. Like a doctor? <laughs> Certainly don't flaunt it, do you? Nah, gotta keep it quiet, otherwise, yeah, all the neighbors will come around anytime they have any sort of ache. Right. So, do you practice around here at all? No. How come? I just don't. Well, you're too young to be retired. What sort of a doctor were you? Doesn't matter. <gasps> were you a cosmetic surgeon? <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Can't blame me for asking. But you should tell me because I hey, know... I have an idea. In the interest of eating well tonight, how about I cook? <laughs> Does that mean you don't want any more of my salty cake? No. But you can help. Oh, Derek. <laughs> Melinda. What? I want you to draft an agreement about Isabel. Specifically, her being unfit to receive the chunk of the trust when she turns 30. It has to have Lyle's signature. It needs to be unanimous. I think it will be. Find out where she is, what she's doing. It's been a little too quiet, and that never bodes well. She'll throw a fit about this. I know. But it's worth it if it means she'll change. It looks so good. Just put a little powdered sugar on top. Um, we're done. Yay! Oh, you, <laughs> you have light, like, on your face. Uh, <laughs> Here. All right. So what's that thing called, anyway? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's some souffle. <laughs> It's good. Like, it's really good. Well, thank you. Mm. So, I was wondering. About? Home, for you. New York. Despite the accent. <laughs> My dad was from London. 
and my uncle sent me to schools out in England. I think he wanted me to keep a connection, you know, like with family. You never picked up the American accent? Mm, I can if I want to. It just never seemed very natural to me, you know. Is your uncle still around? Oh, yes. Well, won't he be missing you? I hadn't actually thought about that. <laughs> I mean, not that I'd count on a search party finding you in the Alps, but... <laughs> no, I don't even think he knows I'm in the country. Is there anybody? Yes, a friend, but I'm pretty sure she's not looking for me either. I was in a bit of a huff with her when we last parted. She probably thinks I'm out here having fun without her. What'd you guys fight about? Oh, you know, me being me. We're actually a really odd pair. How's that? Well, during summers, I would spend them with my uncle at his house, and the other kids just... It was like I had the plague. They had no idea how to talk to me. But Catherine was nice. She listened. She told me what she thought, when she thought it. She never beat around the bush. So we just always stayed friends, you know? We were really different. How so? She's working class. And I'm rich, remember? Yeah, but you're more than that, right? Well, I'd like to think so. You know, it's a wonder that we're friends at all. The way we treat each other, she's really sarcastic. And I think she thinks I don't know, but... But you're rich, not stupid. Exactly. Yes, well put. <laughs> so how do you treat her? Good. Really well, when you consider all of the money I, my uncle gave her mum. Her mum? She got ill and they had loads of bills. She says I hold that over her head, but... Do you? Really, I treat her really well, because sometimes I buy her little gifts and things. Yeah, but that probably doesn't matter much to her, does it? No, probably not. But, you know, that's probably why I consider her a friend. Like, a good friend. True friend? Yeah. Maybe you should tell her that. When you said you were a doctor, did you really mean therapist? Jeremy, I do hope you understand why one day I forgive you. Don't let this or the malpractice eat at you forever, Karen. Isabel? Um, yeah? Hey. Oh my goodness. You have not got a stitch of flannel on you. It's gone. I have to do laundry. No, it looks so much better. All right, don't make a big deal about it. What are you doing? Um, I was just um, sitting and writing a letter. How are you going to send that? Pigeon, carrier pigeon. Do the pigeons come to your birdhouses to eat them? Not of mine. Right. Well, never mind then. What are you doing? Uh, I wanted to see if you want to play chess. Don't you have, like, a game box thing? Like, video games? Yes. No. Why not? 
Well, for one, because I'm not 14. <sighs> right. Chess is then. Lucky me. So what do you do? Do? Yeah, you know, for job. No need. Did you go to college? Yes. Three, actually, but none of them suited me. Three, huh? Well, it's hard to study for a job that you know you're never actually going to need. Sounds rough. But I'm also on the um, board of directors for a charitable foundation. Nice. What foundation? Um, the Elliott Foundation. Your families? Yes, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. Of course not. You know, it's not like I don't do anything. I have a life. OK, so what do you do on a normal day? I guess up, get ready, you know, meet friends for lunch, we go shopping. Sometimes we go to the spa. Um, and sometimes I do appearances for, um, like, parties or benefits, you know, those sorts of things. So, uh, socialite? You know, I really don't care for that term particularly. Change what you do then. I would, but... What was that? It's the dryer. You mind pulling the clothes out while I finish here? Yeah, okay, um... What happened? Well, I was carrying that and it's so heavy and the hallway is really narrow and I... And you broke it? It can be fixed, right? Not really. Well, don't you have some of that wood glue? You can't just... Hey, you know, stay away from that, all right? I don't want you to break anything else. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, your excuses aren't going to fix this. Jeremy, it's just a birdhouse. You know, I realize this doesn't look like it's worth much to you. But it means a lot to me. Probably can't get that. I do get it, and don't talk to me like that. Like what? Like I'm too stupid or shallow to understand your whole thing. Well, sorry, princess, but the shoe fits. You know what? That's nothing compared to what you have ruined. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I may have ruined a lousy birdhouse, but you've ruined people's lives, doctor. You don't know what you're talking about. You wish. I found your secret guilty stash. What were you doing going through my things? Finding out what you were hiding. Those are my things. You're snooping through my past. I think that I have a right to know exactly who I'm staying with. A right? I could have buried you in the snow and nobody would have cared. Is that what you said when you killed that girl? Nobody will even care? Who are you to judge? You don't do anything. Your whole life revolves around shallow people and how much money you can spend. It's useless. Your whole existence is pathetic. It's just a deer. Isabel! Hello? So I still know. There you go. Oh, this. Oh. Was there an animal out there, like a wolf? No. 
Are you sure? There's not a lot of wolves that come out this way. Then why were you in such a hurry? It's freezing out there. It's only gonna get colder. So you weren't scared? Not of a wolf. I'm sorry. Please just don't do that again, okay? No. Jeremy, I'm... I'm really sorry about everything. I was angry. I shouldn't have. No, you were right. You probably don't say that very often, do you? <laughs> nope. So I started getting these um, really bad headaches. I don't know if it was a reaction to something, the flu. No. They last for days. So I got a prescription, pretty heavy painkillers. Worked well, really well. But then I kept taking them. You know, I felt better with them, bad without. I got to a point where uh, I couldn't get off them. I didn't want to. My wife noticed, and uh, I got defensive. Came a wedge in our relationship, and another one. I ran out of pills, and uh, had a surgery scheduled. It's fairly routine, but um, yes, not without the risk. But I was a wreck without the pills. So I found an old prescription laying around. Just something to take the edge off. But, um, just, just couldn't focus. Never should have entered the operating room that day. Thought I could handle it. Patient died on the table. From there I was uh, sued for malpractice. I lost my license. My wife was just horrified with the whole thing. Not that I blame her, she was, she was dragged through a lot. But, uh, I moved here after the divorce. Did you try and get some help? Before the surgery, I didn't think I needed it. But uh, after, yeah. Court ordered rehab. How was that? Better than the alternative. You know, it um, took a while for me to, to uh, listen. Yeah. Not just about uh, the, the pills, but about what I did. I talked a lot about forgiveness and uh, God. Do you think God has forgiven you? Yeah, yeah, but I can't imagine anybody else has. I mean, her family. Family, friends. I'm sorry, that's, that's a lot to carry. Yeah. It's probably why rehab suggested taking up new hobbies. That's where you learn that. Yeah. Something to take your mind off of it. Better than the other hobbies they were suggesting. That's, um, yeah, that was my first one. <laughs> I am so sorry I broke it. Don't worry about it. I overreacted. I'm also sorry that I snooped. Not quite the happy story you were looking for, huh? I just should have respected your privacy. I just... I tend to do whatever I want. I've always done whatever I want. <laughs> I've picked up on that pretty quickly. <laughs> you noticed? <laughs> so you mind if I ask about your parents? 
It was a car accident, and I was four. That must have been hard. I think that's what everybody thought, and so they basically gave me whatever I wanted. So I just took the attention and the pissy and used that to fill the void. It's no substitute for parents, though, huh? No. I thought the money was. I mean, that's all I had left of them. That sounds really heartless, doesn't it? No. You know, sometimes I wonder what they would think of me now, like if they were here. I mean, just because they're not, that's not an excuse, is it? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You want some help up the stairs? Oh, no, I've got it. Jeremy, you know you're not that man anymore, right? Yeah. Still ashamed of him, though. No. No, Mr. Ling, actually, the technician sprayed for this, too. Well, it does take about 48 hours to see the results, so... Well, I can have another technician out to your... Mr. Ling? <sighs> have an awesome day. Oh, so good. That's because I'm cooking. <laughs> Gee. Come on down. All right, but on one condition. After dinner, I teach you how to play chess. OK. Why did you do that? So I can kill that guy. <laughs> All right, what's your next couple moves? I don't know. I'm not there yet. All right, but you're supposed to be thinking ahead, like have it planned out. Okay, let's Don't forget to read the ingredients this time. I know what I'm doing. Hello. What did they say? You know exactly what they said. I thought you should hear from them this time. She's been there almost two weeks. I tried calling her, but... She won't return the call. She's not going to change. And I think you agree that she needs to. I had Melinda draw up an agreement. You want to cut her off? Not completely, just until she's ready to be responsible. 
You know, if she receives that next portion as planned, it will be gone in mere months. You said yourself she's been indulged. Her entire life has been that way. It's time to intervene. Isabel? Yeah? Hey. Hey, yeah. So it's uh, scheduled for the delivery guy to come tomorrow. Oh, right. Of course. Yeah, you're probably ready to get home. Huh? <laughs> um, yeah, it will. You're probably excited to have your home back to yourself. Oh, yeah. Well, I just uh, thought you'd like to know. Thanks. Hey. Hi. What are you up to? Just uh, catching up on some reading. Um, so I came to invite you to my own farewell party. Oh. I made the guest list? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Barely, though. It was, it was close there for a while. Wow. Um, I also thought about calling it the thanks for not letting me die or be eaten by a bear outside in the cold party. Yeah, I, I think I like the first one better. Yeah, that sounds just more fun. Yeah. Okay. So, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so do you want to come down in, like, an hour? Sure. Okay. Uh, you want some help? No, I'm good. You sure? Yep. I'll see you. Wow, did you make all of this from scratch? I turned the oven on. I, I thought about making it from scratch, and then I found most of it sitting in your freezer. All of this was in my... Wow. You look, uh, nice. Mm, thank you. Uh, am I the first one here? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Where are you going? To get dessert. You made dessert? <laughs> you know, it's not a party unless you have dessert. I agree. S'mores. Oh, yeah. You know how to do this, right? The girl from London is asking me about s'mores. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Thank you, lovely. You're gonna burn it. You're critiquing my cooking? <laughs> no, your s'more making, it's very different. I like it crunchy. That's burnt to a crisp. Oh. Okay. Perfect. La -la. Cookies? You don't have any graham crackers. Oh. oh, yeah. For me? It looks so messy. Oh. Oh. Is it good? It's good. <laughs> it's a little messy. I'm sticking to chocolate. Mm. I've been wondering, why did you let me stay in the end? When you broke in? <laughs> Oh, you love to put it that way, don't you? <laughs> well, as much as you ticked me off, I'm not heartless. So I'm lucky it was you, then. I mean, honestly, as impossible as I thought it was, I've actually felt really at home here. Mm. So is that why you were so bossy? Me? Bossy? OK, so what you call bossy, I think, was just, you know, some valid fashion advice. I mean, we had to break you from all that flannel and get rid of that whole poor bunion thing you had going on. I mean, look how much better you look now. It's like night and day. I guess I was uh, just lost without you. most of the time. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it. I 
don't want you to leave tomorrow. You want me to stay here? Yeah. But my whole life is back in New York. Well, they haven't missed you yet. But eventually they will. And as much as I have loved being here with you, I can't just stay forever. Yeah. No, you're right. Jeremy, I'm not like you. I can't just leave it all behind. Do you really want to go back to that life? <sighs> Look, it's all I know. I have too much to... Too much? Is it always about money with you? I never said anything about money. I have people who care about me. Unlike you, I can't just leave them behind and hide away up here. Look, why don't you just go back home? I have nothing to go back to. That's not true. You could start over, start fresh. I'm sure everybody has moved on by now. I doubt it. What if I run into the family or someone who remembers? Even that would be better than being isolated up here with nothing but your past just hanging over you. Look, I don't expect you to understand because you don't face consequences. <laughs> I do too. Really? Or do you just make excuses and throw money at a problem until it disappears? Well, it's better than just running away with your tail between your legs, just wasting your life instead of giving yourself a chance to have one and actually being happy. Who are we kidding? You're gonna go back to your socialite crowd, your rich lifestyle. You have everything you need. You'll forget about me. Yeah. I will. It's late. Delivery guy gets here early. Trick. Sauerkraut? Yeah. I don't eat this stuff. Try it. I didn't order it this time or the last five times. Uh, well, uh, keep it for emergency. Great, so if I run out of everything else, I'll have six jars of sauerkraut. Uh. We're uh, just about done here. Good. Oh, did you want me to send these clothes back to you? Nah, keep them. Isabel. Goodbye. Get out of here, Dietrich. It was all just a big accident, but I'm home now. All right. I'll come and see you tomorrow, all right? Okay. Bye. No, no, you are correct. In fact, I am making a note on your account as we speak. So, mm hmm Oh, okay. Thank you so much for calling. You have a great day. Oh my gosh, you're back and you're safe? I'm fine. Did you really get lost? <laughs> I never should have left you. Um, as I recall, I'm the one who left you behind. Yeah, and then you got lost. I, 
I just assumed you got back to the hotel okay. Catherine, seriously, don't worry about it. No, but you're fine. I was, um, well taken care of. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I can probably sneak away early if you want to tell me about it. Uh, I have to go and see Uncle Lyle next. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I will call you later, all right? Okay, okay. yeah, sure. I'll see you. Bye. I would have riled up every agency there is to find you if I'd only known. I should have told you where I was going. Well, when I didn't hear from you, I assumed, well, <laughs> I didn't think it was anything serious. It's my own fault. I didn't expect you to think anything was wrong. You could have been hurt or worse. I was lucky. Hello. Glad to see you've returned safely. Thank you. Perhaps this isn't the right time for us to discuss this. I think it is the right time. We've discussed this at length. She just returned from a very traumatic ordeal. It doesn't change anything. Wait, what's going on? Per the provisions in your parents' trust, we are revoking your next inheritance installment. What provisions? If the three trustees unanimously agree, we can delay the payout until such a time as we deem appropriate. And we have agreed. Isabel, your outlandish spending combined with your unacceptable public behavior. It's not what your parents would want. We'll provide for your living expenses. It'll be a minimal amount, but you'll be fine. And beyond that, perhaps you should find a better use of your time, something more meaningful. Look, this whole Switzerland thing, it's demonstrated just how reckless you become we, we feel that this is about your safety and protection as much as the preservation of your future. All right. All right. It's fine. The money was meant to provide for you, Isabel, but it won't keep you happy forever. I know. She's not going to give it back. No. She thinks she can keep it. But he called off the engagement. Probably to get that giant rock back. She's not worth 11 carrots. Poor Dan, though. Isabel? Yeah. He should sue her. I heard that he might on grounds of an affair. She didn't even know. Are you busy tonight? Your uncle really cut you off? <sighs> yep, but I don't blame him. You are unusually calm about this. No, seriously, you are starting to freak me out. What happened to you over there? I realized I have everything that money could buy. Yeah? So isn't it a little odd that I don't have everything I want? What more could you want? To be happy? I mean, when I got there, it drove me crazy. But then it was so peaceful and calm and quiet, and I actually really liked it. The quiet? Or the quiet with a good-looking guy? Did I say he was good-looking? <laughs> you just did. Yeah, he is. <laughs> So give me the rundown on this guy. I was horrible to him and he told me so. And it made me feel disappointed. How? Like in myself, you know? Like for the first time maybe ever, it actually bothered me that I had hurt someone else. I've been pretty terrible to you too. Not terrible. <laughs> terrible. I 
held money over your head, just like you said, and basically guilted you into doing whatever I wanted you to do. Why? Because I wanted you around? Because maybe I didn't want to lose the one real friend that I had? And you thought the money thing was the way to do it? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel, I am friends with you in spite of the money. Really? Yeah. Wow. This guy really got through to you. <sighs> Do you miss him? Yeah. You should try and see him. I'm pretty sure he'd rather just forget all about me. He asked me to stay, but... You said no. Yep. And now you've changed your mind? Well, I only said I didn't want to stay there. Didn't mean I didn't want to be with him at all. Isabel, I have seen you chase loser guys all the time. This one's better than that, and you really like him. So isn't he worth fighting for? I'm glad you could come. Me too. You know, I've actually been thinking I mean, if it's all right with you, I'd like to be a little bit more involved in the foundation. I don't know how much help I'd be. I know I don't know very much, but I'd kind of like to try. Of course. Yeah? Are you happy, Isabel? <laughs> I'm trying to be. I only ask because You've been different since you came back. Isn't that a good thing? I mean... Somewhat, yes, but I still need to know that you're happy. I mean, truly happy. Me too. What happened out there? I met someone, and he was nice. Just nice? <laughs> I think... Maybe I think about him a little too much. Well, that could mean something. Not really. We're too far apart. You don't have to be. It's not like I can pick up the phone and call him. He is in the middle of nowhere. Go see him. I'll call and have the plane ready. Uncle Lionel. Go! I'm not even sure he would want to see me. Well, you won't know until you do see him. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm looking for Jeremy. Yeah, uh, he's gone. Gone? Yeah, he uh, asked me to watch the cabin. <laughs> gone where? To America, I think. Why? I, I don't know. Uh, he, he left this morning. <sighs> okay, thank you. Hey, what happened? He's not here. What? Are you serious? Apparently, he's on his way back to the US. To find you? I don't know. I mean, I'd like to think so, but he could be going anywhere. So, um, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm on my way back now, but I don't want to miss him. Oh, yeah, how soon can he get back? Not soon enough. Look, I know that you're at work, but is there any way that you could just go to my place just in case he shows up? Yeah. No, yeah, I can totally do that. Thank you. Mr. Elliot? Go ahead. You have a visitor here, uh, Jeremy Edmonds. He says he's here about Isabel. Send him in. Uh, hello, Mr. Elliot. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this. How do you know Isabel? She stayed at my home for a little while. 
I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know if she told you about her trip to Switzerland, but... You're the man she met. Yeah. Do you know where I could find her? Catherine. Hey, he isn't here. But maybe he could have gotten here before I could get here, but then... I Why wouldn't he be back by now? Well, maybe he was delayed. He, he was on a commercial flight, right? Probably. Then he's on his way. Well, maybe I'm not the reason he was coming out here at all. Well, what other reason would there be? I don't know. I can think of a few. Maybe he never forgave me for the way I left, the things that I said. No, Isabel, you're being too hard on yourself. <laughs> You've never said that to me before. Well, it was never true till today. Listen, go get some rest. You've got to be tired, and besides... <laughs> You've jumped, like, a million time zones. Hi. Hi. You're here. Uh, yeah. I mean, he said you were coming, but... Who? Um, your delivery guy. Dietrich? You... you spoke to him? Yeah, um... I went to find you. While I came here. <sighs> I, I'm really tired. I'm so, I've got to go. I've been babysitting this apartment all day and there's no food in the house because Isabel can't cook. So um, I'm just going to go get some um, takeout probably on my way home. Uh, sorry, uh, but you guys, you guys have a great night though. Listen, I'm sorry. I was cruel and selfish. I've always been cruel and selfish. You are the first person to make me want to be something else, and... No, I was being selfish. I was asking you to leave everything behind, but uh, I wasn't willing to do the same. Maybe it doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, it, it does. Because you deserve somebody with a future. And for me to have a chance at that, I've got to be willing to let go of the past. So does that mean that you want me in your future? Yeah. But it's not going to be easy. But if God could forgive me, I should be able to forgive myself. Living in hiding really isn't living at all. Well, neither is living without the person that you love. So glad I found you. Wait, are you sure that you're ready for me? I mean, I'm kind of... I've survived so far. Yeah. 